welcome back to part two of our video on our solar pool pump that has developed some bearing issues. I uh, have been running this pump for a year now. Uh, it has, I can't say enough good things about it. This has saved me over $2,000 a month in electricity bills because it's powered directly by the sun uh, from the solar panels. There's no grid tie whatsoever. However, um, this pump has developed some bearing noise. So what we're going to be doing in this video, if you watch the first part, I had it out at the pool equipment. It's about 120 degrees out here right now. It's in July. And uh, so I brought it here into the shop. And what we're going to do is we're going to split the motor from the pump housing and investigate to see if we can put some new bearings in here to salvage this motor. You're going to need a 10 millimeter socket. By the way, um, when I took the pump out, there's a little drain plug so you can drain all the water out of the pump housing. Okay, we've got some water coming out here. Okay. All right, we got it apart. Let's keep a note of this. Uh, I think this is the diffuser and this is the impeller. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put this part down on the ground. Okay, we got the pump, so, uh, pump housing separated from the motor. Now we're going to start tearing apart, trying to find out, get to the where the bearings are. Now, something that I do want to point out, I would have done this outside. It made a big mess on my shop floor. But it's over 100 degrees outside right now, so I didn't really want to attempt doing that. Now we're going to have to get this impeller nut off. And usually what we'll do is we're going to take this back plate off and put some vice grips on the uh, shaft while we do this, take this bolt off. Normally we turn to the left to loosen a, a nut, but we're going to turn to the right. But before we do that, let's get this back taken off here. Okay, got this cover off. Now, there's a little, uh, get a flathead screwdriver in there to hold the shaft. Oh, we turn this. Okay, we're going to need a 14 millimeter socket on here. So I'm turning to the right to loosen it up. It's a plastic nut that's what it looks like okay you're going to need a number four hex to get the these there's four screws here get this off here we're going to hold this screwdriver in here and look, we're able to take the impeller off. Perfect. Okay, we got the impeller off. Okay, we got this piece off. All right, let's spin this thing. Oh, that sounds bad. Let's 
see how I do that? I'm just, it looks like this back fin is just pressed in. So I hit it with the hammer with the short screwdriver and it's coming out. All right, there's a little rubber seal there. All right. Okay, my desk is a mess here. All right, so we're gonna try to get this out. So we're gonna It was like magnetized. Okay. All right, we're going to get this all cleaned up. All right, so I'm going to clean up my workbench here. It's way too dirty. It looks like this bearing in the back is fine, but this bearing in the front is definitely shot. All right, so let's get this uh, workspace cleaned up. Okay, guys, we got the work surface cleaned off. We have separated the um, motor. I noticed that this bearing in the back is fine, so I'm not going to change that one out. But this bearing in the front, you can listen to it, it sounds horrible. I did order some new bearings off of Amazon. I'll put the description below. You will also need a gear puller to get this off. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull this bearing. I'm using plier wrenches. I used to have a set of knife packs, but I lost them, so I bought these at Harbor Freight. Okay. Looks like we got this separated. Oops. What I did was I put the shaft into the back here just to kind of hold it up. I got my three jaw gear puller. I put some uh, big channel locks on here. And that this bearing is really stuck on here. Okay, we got it off. All right, you can see that bearing is shot. So we got the new bearing in the uh, front of the motor and the bearing in the back of the motor was okay. Uh, I initially, when I started this video, I wasn't going to change it out, but I was feeling it and it didn't feel new. So I went ahead and used, since I had it apart, I had my gear puller. I went ahead and pulled the bearing and put a new one on here. Um, to do this job, you will need some jaw pullers. I'll put a link in the description below and a link to all of the tools. Um, so I cleaned it all up. What I'm going to do now is I just want to uh, clean out the inside of the motor with some compressed air before I put it back together. There's a ring that goes down in the bottom of the motor. You're going to need some long needle nose pliers to get this down there in the hole. See that ring down there? So we got it back together, put a new bearing in the front and a new bearing in the back. So we're going to put it all back together. Okay, we're ready to put the motor back into the pump housing. All right, guys, we got it all back together. Now we're going to go install it equipment center. Hopefully this works. Okay, guys, we got the uh, pump installed back here in the equipment area. It is running. 
We changed out both bearings and the pump is functioning normally. It's pumping the water. Uh, we did change out both bearings, the front and the back. I'll put the link for the bearings and all the tools that we needed in the description below. Uh, if this helped, please give me a like and a subscription. Uh, here on this channel, we try to fix anything. Thanks, guys.